Imagine this. You just downloaded eFootball 2024 mobile and you started playing the game. But when you play it, you notice something is a little bit off. Well, here are a few settings that you need to adjust before playing a match in eFootball 2024 to have a better gaming performance. Let's go. Alrighty, so first and foremost, you gotta go to the graphic settings and change this FPS. We're gonna have 30 FPS and standard graphics. If you have a really good device, you can set the graphics to the max possible to have that beautiful gameplay. And also change the FPS from 30 to 60 to have a more smooth and pleasing frame rate. Now, you might be thinking, what's the difference between the highest graphic and the lowest graphic? Well, let me tell you. This is the lowest graphic in eFootball 2024 mobile. I mean, it's still not that bad, but let's compare it to the maximum graphic possible, the high graphic. And here, oh yeah, high is so much better than the lowest graphic. I mean, it was obvious, wasn't it? But this much power and beautiful scenery graphics come with some consequences. Your battery is gonna drain a little bit faster and your device is gonna heat up rapidly as well so be careful on that okay so for the next setting go to your game plan tap on your team's icon and then go to in match roles there you can find different player names set up for like something and if you want you can change them to whatever player you want and it's just gonna help you passively you know so you don't have to drag anyone select a new kicker when you take free kicks or corners and all that stuff these last three lines are really important though what they basically do is when you take corner kicks or any free kicks the player that you assign this position will move to the box so like it's gonna help you attack and when selecting players for it you gotta be really careful because if you select like three of your main defenders and you fail to score a goal you're gonna have a really hard time catching up with the opponent's team strikers so it's like a high risk high reward the next setting is the play settings i'm not gonna yap just copy my settings this is for touch and flick i use manual switching because i like it but if you want assisted switching then you can turn it on but i would recommend to switch it to manual because defending with that is way more easier and way more understandable and of course here are the settings if you play with the classic control Personally, I play with touch and flick is just because I like it. It gives like more view and all that stuff But yeah at the end of the day, it's your opinion to choose your control <coughs> Important announcement. I am gonna give away this 101 bliss curler Chiesa account for free if I hit 1k subs and I know there is still a long way ahead But we'll get there eventually so if you want to participate all you have to do is to wait for me to hit 1k okay and you can speed up the process by liking my videos and subscribing all right i'm not gonna yap any further let's continue the video moving on the next setting is the automatic match support when you open it turn that offside trap on it's just gonna help you to get more offsides or maybe even get an offside. I would not recommend turning on the substitutions and the attack and defense level because the AI, bots, drones, NPCs, they can just mess up your gaming experience. So you better turn them off. And one last more setting that is crucial for your gameplay is the camera settings. From my experience of playing eFootball for a long time, I can say that dual is the best camera setting in eFootball. Legit. It just makes the game far more entertaining. Dual, like, it zooms in when you, like, attack or defend. And it just kind of gives, like, an emotion to a camera. Pretty cool, huh? So, that is the, all of the settings that you need to adjust to play better in eFootball. Tell me in the comments if you knew about that already. I am Rivus, and I'm just gonna explode myself.